We're joined now by Nationals manager Davey Martinez. Davey, only first few days, but what have you seen that you've liked? Uh, I've seen the energy. You know, the energy these guys are bringing. Um, it's been really been incredible. It's been a lot of fun. Um, you know, so it's been exciting. It really has. And, and to see all these young uh, kids that we have and see what they're doing right now, it's been, it's been very impressive. You mentioned that you've been a little more vocal this spring than in years past, uh, leading a lot of the drills yourself really making a point to see a lot of different things and be more active. Why do you think that's been the case this year? I, I think because, you know, we have so many young kids and so many uh, new guys. It gives me an opportunity, one, to speak a little bit. I, I want them really to understand what we're trying to do. Um, and it gives us a chance to really, you know, this is this is like uh, probably the, the first year we really have a chance to, to change things here, uh, change the culture a little bit and get them to understand what we're really trying to do and that's to win another championship and the way we're doing it with our young all our young guys uh with the guys that we had in the big leagues over the last couple years that are young um it's exciting you know so I want to make sure that they hear from me that they understand that that I'm all in uh that my coaching staff is all in um so that they 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 could grasp it and then we could go ahead and and uh and they can actually use it in the games and, and in practice. You have a lot of young players, but you have new coaches as well. What do you try to establish throughout the spring with those guys? Yeah, so, you know, it's it comes before the spring. You know, we Zoomed all winter long, and as we got closer to the spring training, it was maybe twice a week that we were Zooming. Um, you know, a lot of scheduling, a lot of just talking about how we're going to do things, uh, how we're going to run the defense, um, all that stuff comes out. You know, the analytics, you know, and, and talking about analytics. Um, so, you know, so when we come to spring training, we pretty much – hone in on what we want to do and, and then it's it's really good to see these guys in person and talk you know we meet every morning we meet every afternoon um, we go over a lot of different things in the morning what we want to cover and in the afternoon we review and uh, I want to hear from all the coaches they tell me what they saw you know whether it's pitching whether it's hitting infield and um, so we have a grasp of, of what needs to be done the following day and the day after that so um, these guys are are, are really good. You know, we got some young coaches still that you know uh, do little first year, par first year coaching, um, but unbelievably know this game like incredible, and they got so so much energy as you know as both of them. You know, um, they got so much energy. They bring all this energy and they bring it to our players as well. With the younger coaching staff, a lot of younger players that are out there, some kids who are in big league camp for the first time. You mentioned trying to or this being an opportunity to start changing the culture around here what does that look like to you what is the culture that you want to establish that's maybe different from where you were several years ago where you had a very veteran championship contending team yeah for me for me it's it's teaching teaching the nationals way you know and uh and getting them to buy in at an early age starting those conversations with some of these young guys you know um this is awesome that they're all here in spring training you know, a lot of them. I mean, we still got some in the minor leagues that we haven't seen yet. Um, but to, to have this core in here, you know, knowing that, you know, in a short period of time, some of these guys are going to come up and help us uh, to get them right now and uh, and get and spread that message, you know, spread up my message, and the coaches spreading their message. Um, it's awesome, you know, and, and this is what I want them to learn because it, it, it establishes one relationship with mm-hmm. everybody here. Two is the way we want them to do things, and uh, and sometimes you know that helps because when they get up, they, they understand what we're doing. So um, it's been it's been great. It's been uh, like I said, you know, at the end of the day, I'm exhausted because I speak a lot. Um, but you know, so you know, it gets to the point where I just want to go watch them compete and play. When you see all of those guys in the cages together or sitting on the bench together, those top prospects, do you feel like it kind of gives you a glimpse into the future? Well, you know, you say that, and I watched them all in a group today hitting, and uh, it was pretty impressive. Uh, and to know that, hey, wow, you know, well, that some of these kids that we got coming up are definitely going to help us help us win games. Uh, it's, it's really exciting times for the Nationals. Knowing that they are all kind of on the cusp now and you're seeing them with your own eyes, do you have to be a little careful not to think too far ahead, not to get a little too excited, and because I'm sure you're anxious and, you know, in a perfect world, you'd love to have them here right from the start on opening day. Uh, uh, there's no no doubt, but, you know, because of the way my, my thought process is, I know to be where my feet are and take care of the now. Mm-hmm. Those guys are going to, you know, they're going to they're gonna grow, and um, we're going to get them soon. 
Uh, I also know that the guys that we have, you know, the guys that, that we had last year, you know, uh, my focus is, is on those guys as well and trying to get them ready for the season. You brought up Caber's off-season work. Mackenzie Gore was telling us he was up here catching them, and all I wanted to do was catch, catch, catch. Um, how important is that off-season progress to where he'll start the season, and what do you think that tells you about him as a player? It's It's been incredible, and he's been, like I said, he's it was more this whole off-season other than just really getting in shape. And um, you know, it's been all about the catching for him. It really has. He's been working. He's been sitting down. I know he was coming here you know, early January and talking to our analytical guys about some of the things that he needs to work on, watching film. You know, he sat, sat here for a couple hours uh, a day and watched a bunch of film on our pitchers and, and other pitchers and, and seeing other catchers, some of the good catchers and what they did. Um, so he, he really took it to heart, and he does want to get better. And we've seen a difference. I've talked to a lot of pitchers that have thrown to him, and they said, man, he's doing a great job of, one, not moving. Uh, secondly, he's getting underneath underneath the ball and holding, holding the ball there so that it does look like a strike, you know. Um, so those are all the things that, that uh, we try to get him work, his footwork on throwing. You know, I know he's, he's working diligently with Henry Blanco on uh, get, getting his footwork a lot better. So, and he's throwing the ball a lot better, which is, which is awesome. So uh, I'm looking forward to watching him go out there and compete this year. I think, I think he's going to be a good one. I really do. And, I, you know, I've always said, I said, hey, you're, you're this close one to being an all-star, you know, and also this much closer to helping us win another championship. So uh, keep working. One guy we haven't really talked a lot about this spring is C.J. Abrams, and I'm kind of just thinking to myself, why we, haven't we, we, we talked about, talk about him? We might not talk about him, but I talk about him all the time. Yeah, but. I mean, this guy, what he did in the second half last year was at an all-star level, uh, and I know you were so excited to see the way he took off once he took over the leadoff role and how much better he played, not just at the plate, but in the field as well. Um, how good can he be over the course of a full season, and how much growth is there still for him? Well, yeah, everybody saw what he could do in just a half a season. Um, now, if he could put it all together and start like that from the beginning, I mean, there's no telling, you know, what he could really do. I mean, this kid, the ball comes off his bat hot. Um, when when he gets on base, he he, he cre creates havoc. Um, his shortstop play has got a lot better. His footwork has been a lot better. Um, I know he had some throwing issues early on, and he kind of that seemed to go away a little bit, but. Um, I love this kid. He came back this year and he puts a little bit of weight on. He's strong. Um, I'm watching him take batting practice. He has a plan. Um, I'm watching him take ground balls and and um, what a difference, you know, uh, really a, a year makes uh, uh, how he's going about it, his work and, and uh, how prepared he is, you know, and knowing what he wants to do. So I'm, I'm really excited and, and really, really uh, want to see him go out there and really get off to a good start because it's going to mean a lot. You know, not only for us, but for him, that he, you know, all the work that he's put on comes to fruition, and he could he could take off and uh, start from day one and, and go and, and keep continue to do that throughout the year. I know that pitch mix has been a big thing for both Josiah Gray and Mackenzie Gore. What do you think that their focus should be this spring? Uh, oh, oh, strikes! Oh, you know, getting ahead of hitters. I really do. I mean, when they do that, they're both incredible. They really are. I mean, it makes a big difference for both of them. So, um, you know, the you know, JoJo has. A lot of different pitches, um, but we got to get him to throw it in the box. You know, the same thing with with McKenzie. But if he gets the ball in the box, for me, uh, the more strikes he throws, the misses do, do help. You know, you and you'll get you'll get swings and misses. But if you're always behind, um, that's when that's when hitters do their damage. So we we want them to to uh, work on the old counts, get ahead, and finish guys off. You know, right away. Last year was a big step forward from. 55 wins to 71. Everyone acknowledged how much progress you made. That next step now to get to 80 and beyond, that's probably a tougher step to take. How does this team get there? What is the difference that maybe at the end of this year, the end of this season, we're talking about what you guys did better in 2024 than 2023? Yeah, you know, you know, you know we, we got to be able to finish games, right? Get to the, our pitches need to go a little bit deeper. Um, I think we did a good job of adding some, some guys that are helping our bullpen. Um, nobody ever talks about Robert Garcia, uh, but what he did for us, you know, uh, especially when we haven't had very many left-handed relievers here, uh, was amazing. Uh, getting Ferrer, you know, he, he got a little taste of, of the major leagues last year, so um, hopefully, you know, he learned a lot last year and he he could come off and because uh, he's got great stuff. Um, but we need to finish games. You know, we lost a lot of games late. Um, the one, the close games, the one-run games. We got to figure out how to win those games. Um, but I, I, I'm, t you know, I'm telling you, we're 
you know, I see this group and I think we're, we're really close. We really are. So uh, I'm excited about uh, one, you know, getting through the spring training, everybody being healthy, and then uh, getting off to a good start this year. All right, Davey, thanks for the time. All right, you're welcome.